Hello, this is Nate Freeman, and this is lab number four, remote access. Specifically in this, we're looking at secure shields and uh, secure shells and how they work. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and start my Wireshark capture. While that's working, we are going to connect to our SSH using PuTTY. I've already preloaded my shell in. So I'm going to log in as myself. All right, now I'm logged in into the secure shell. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go to my next directory. So I'm going to type in CD startup, which is what I made up before. I can use the ls command to just show what directory I'm in and what is in there. Now, in order to create a new document I could, or a new text document, I can put in touch and then a file name. Um, since I already have a file, I'm going to go ahead and click or type in nano as well as my file name. And right here is the editor. So right here is my script. Anything with a pound sign means that it is hidden. It won't. It won't. Uh, it won't print it out. The strings are variables that allow it to print, and then the echoes also allow it to be shown on a different screen. To exit this, I'm going to do Control Exit. It brings me back to my shell. In order to see the stuff within the shell or within the uh, program, we do cat dot bash underscore login, and that shows all of the information that's in that file. Now, if I look at the directory, it's not there. But if I do ls hyphen a it shows me even the hidden files. Um, that dot in front of bash makes it a hidden file. Now what I can do is I can look at Wireshark and see whether or not um, I'm doing any traffic over my secure shell and whether or not it's secure. So right here I have my secure shell protocols and you can see right here is where I'm talking between my computer, my client, the client, and the server all at the same time. And you can see that they are encrypted packets. And you can see each time I accessed it, it's under the SSH protocol. And that's it. Thank you for listening and watching.